On December 6, 1773, the Sons of Liberty started a revolution against the tyrant King George and his taxation by throwing chests of tea into the Boston Harbor. In 2016, a group of some privileged college students threw some food from Chartwells and a bunch of random, youthless in the Hep Creek because it didn't taste that good. So basically, it's the same thing. What the f***? All right, we're going to f*** you, you off. You ready? America! Fuck yeah. Go! Seattle's best coffee? This isn't Seattle! One carb at a time, we will make America skinny again. Mm. Mm. The only given are the Chartwells give me. I got a parking ticket from the cop department. I left my car keys inside. I couldn't move my vehicle. What the f do you want me to do? Jesus. Gotta let it steep for like three minutes. No taxation without representation, you know. I got another email from Shannon Grasso. I don't even own a car. I'll tell you something. If I did, it'd be American. They give us salt and pepper shakers, but they can't give us napkins. Take that salt water. Number 1093? 1093? Do you know how much dick I suck for this? These motherfuckers got pizza in my grease. This is for the Commonwealth. Public safety was eventually notified of the event. However, when the students were confronted, each began to cry and call their parents for them to handle it. Oh my God, why won't you help me? It was already polluted with hepatitis. It doesn't matter if another cup is in there. No, mom, they were trying to get me to go in the water and pick up the stuff we threw, and I was like, a bitch, no, I'm not getting in that dirty water. Mm -mm, not happening. Yeah, no, I don't understand why they're complaining either. I mean, I got a new pair of dungarees at Walmart the other day, and those got wet, so that kind of sucked. One student cried so hard, he passed out and soiled himself. Quinnipiac University and President Leahy have responded by doing nothing. Shocking. Many have turned to the SGA, but seriously, what do they even do? Food trucks? Like, who are these people? Ah, uh, whatever. Good night, folks. Live from the Piazza at Quinnipiac University, it's Quinnipiac tonight with your cast Richie Augustinoni, Kristen Karen, Reagan Martin, Michaela Toledo. Andrew Weiss and Daniel West with the musical stylings of the Piazza Pit. Tonight's host is Kirby Paulson, so please everyone put your hands together for Kirby! Stop asking me to say it. In Boston, you're always going to hear about how someone
one knows someone else's brother or their third cousin, or in my family's case, members of Whitey Bulger's posse. I'll never forget the day the Whitey Bulger was caught and my mother told me about her two great uncles who used to illegally print cash on stolen government money plates in the cell. I swear I'm not a criminal, guys, even though I just put a whole lot of cash on a trip to Tampa next week. <laughs> so I am a huge country music fan, like absolutely massive. And this one game that I love to play with my cousin and her friends is when we go to a show, we have to spot how many Asian cowboys we can find before the finale. <laughs> so last year we go to Lady Antebellum, and I, I'm dead serious, I spotted one. He was this devilishly handsome looking dude with great style and lots of strong hat. I always thought marriage were a great compliment. <laughs> you can laugh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I came to Point of I didn't realize how many kids from New York and New Jersey there were. That is until the Patriots opened up their season. Got a lot of verbal abuse that night. <laughs> Speaking of the Patriots, I thought I'd take the time to explain to you why Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time. My people from New England will understand that, right? <laughs> Freshmen this year have stepped in and really just eliminated that problem, doing the right plays at the right time. I mean, it certainly seems like an uphill battle for this team, but I, Trisha Fabi is one of the best coaches at this university. Bobcats hosting Arizona State. We'll start with this power play. But she's strong. Good Lord, I saw her lifting one time. She could squat three of me. Like, oh, well, that, that, seven of me then. <laughs> This week's trending topic is hashtag that. We are your source for Quinnipiac Entertainment News.
So if you're like me, the Easter Bunny is getting really old. Luckily, some Hallmark executives have decided to make some changes. Let's check it out. Get down to business. So we have a couple of qualified candidates to take over for Mr. Cottontail. Let's bring him in. Oh, hey guys, I'm a dog, and like the Easter Bunny, I lay eggs too. Except they're brown, and they come in all sizes big, little. So what's the matter? My owner comes by once a week with a plastic bag, picks them all up, puts them in a container, then a truck comes by, and it takes them all away, and thus the cycle continues! I mean, I make my own eggs, so no big deal or anything. I got three little chicks at home, so I have some time to put an egg here and there, because mommy got time for any more chicks. Plus, it's cheaper to bring them down for Willie's pickled eggs at the stock and shop. I promise to hide them well, so well that nobody will ever find them. Now. Bear with me here, but don't snakes eat eggs? I mean, you guys can't go wrong with a dog. Squirrels, they're dicks. Mailmen, bigger dicks. And those leaves that roll outside the window just kick. They're big, fat, meaty dicks. So, um, for this paycheck thing, I was thinking about, I don't know, 100,000 a year. That's a bit much, don't you think? How about like 50,000? Oh my god, are you a bird too? Because all I'm hearing is cheap, cheap, cheap. If you don't hire me, you'll be discriminating because I don't have limbs. So how exactly are you gonna carry these eggs? In my pockets. So it looks like that's it. Wait, there's one more. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the Bostonian Student Union is now going to speak with us. God help us. What's up, you losers? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, yeah, so we at the Boston Student Union need to go over some stuff for, you know, because this New York, New Jersey bullshit is getting wicked annoying. We at the Bostonian Student Union are going to present a few grievances to our fellow peers who do not live in the Boston area. Number one, we say wicked, please get used to it. Wicked is something that we say. For your understanding, it means really or very. Yeah, what this guy said, I like him. He makes me feel like the pre <laughs> president up here. Thank you. Number two, I do drink from the water bubbler, and I'm not going to apologize for that. We drink from the water bubbler. It is another word for water fountain. Number three, if you are coming to, the bo to Boston or the area anytime soon, please say the names of our towns right. It's Worcester or Gloucester. I don't get what's so freaking hot about it. If you plan to visit Boston in the coming months, please recognize the town names of Worcester and Gloucester. <laughs> Buddy, you told us you knew Boston. Say the names right. I'm sorry, sir, but uh, that one didn't really make any sense to me. Whatever, moving on. A TV remote is a clicker. Everybody except you weirdos know that. A television remote is called a clicker in Boston. It's weird. All right, listen up, buddy. I'm not paying you to stop judging me up here. Just tell the people what I'm saying, and we're not going to have any trouble. Listen up, buddy. I'm not paying you to start judging me up here. Just tell the people what I'm saying, and there won't be any trouble. 
That's better. Next, Dunkin' Donuts is Dunks. What the f is Dunks? Are you kidding me? It is Dunkin'. You walk to get your coffee from Dunkin'. Also, wicked, that's not a word. It should only be used when you're referencing Broadway shows or supervillains. Next, what the f is a bubbler? Nothing inside of it bubbles. There's pipes and it goes from one end to the, there's, there's no bubbling. Maybe in that little box, I don't know. Finally, are you the one that say grinder? Cause that's, that's not a, that's, that's a gay hookah bat. That's not a sandwich. Oh, I guess this is what Donald Trump feels like when the protesters come in. Uh, number one, you must drink at Starbucks, right? To drink your coffee. Okay, number two, I do drink out of a water bubble. That's what it's called. I don't know what else you want me to call it. And number three, I'm speaking the King's English. So if you don't like it, you can take a hike. <clears throat> Prepare to get roasted. <laughs> number one, I bet you drink at Starbucks, punk. <laughs> number two, it's called a water bubbler. Get used to it, it's what we call it. Number three, I'm speaking English that King George used himself. You got a problem with it? Suck it. All right, <laughs> screw this. And live from Boston, it's Quinnipiac tonight! I could really go for a Ray and Mike sub right now. Come to Ray and Mike's and try our Philly chicken and cheese for just over $4. Giant cheesesteak subs and mouth-watering boar's head sandwiches for as low as $4.75. QCash accepted just a mile down the road on Whitney here at Ray and Mike's. Good evening and welcome to Sports Paws. In the end, we're here to win a championship this year. Jess Fontaine now has that. She's going to take a river off the post, but she's going to come back. And my number one, hold your applause, Bobcats fans, is Quinnipiac. All right, Victoria, you know what time it is. It's top five plays of the week. My favorite time. Oh. that sometimes you end up alone in the calf, and sometimes it's nice to just have a little bit of company. Please enjoy this segment we call, Anybody Need a Lunch Buddy? What's going on? How much, you? You're going to class now. You guys are just gonna leave me? I just got here. Did you take a lot of drugs in kindergarten? Mm, smothers. Were you on that juice box? I was always on the juice box. Let me tell you. What are you doing? Four. Four? Don't study for that. Ew. You want a Frito? No, thanks. I wasn't going to say anyway. No, you probably should. I'm a film major, so. <laughs> what do I know about studying? Remember that time at summer camp? Do you? Are you sure?
You look familiar. No? It's okay, it was an all-girls summer camp. John Deere, you like cutting lungs? Same. I like the ones that you ride. Yeah, I'm pretty familiar with the lawnmower. I am Latina after all. You want a Frito? Shit, yeah! We're on. I don't even like Fritos, man. Like Frito pals. I don't even I don't even know why I'm still eating these. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right. Now we have a very special surprise. A never before seen segment. Let's take a look. Josh Philwoman, this is for you. What is this? It's your food, sir. Without a tray, are you f***ing psychotic? Uh, no, sir. It's just no one uses trays. Come back with a tray, or I'll kill your family. Uh, uh, okay. Don't stop moving. What? Is it done? Boss, he got away, but I heard a couple rumors that he has class in Ekman 210. What do you mean? Go after him. I would, but I'm not entirely sure where that is. We've been freshmen here for six months. How do you not know where Eklund is? Where are you now? I'm in a brick building. Every building is a brick building. Find him and finish him off. You want me to jerk him off? No, no, no. Like, kill him. So you want me to jerk him off, then kill him? No, you're not jerking anyone off. Sir, I'll do whatever you want me to do, but I really don't see the point in killing someone, then jerking them off. Find it and erase it. So who you got jerk off? One of the Mountain View boys got transferred to Commons. He has a video of Josh. What is it of? I can't say. It'll get you arrested and your car searched. Grab him. <coughs> Who's Stop! Who's your daddy? Stop tickling me! Okay, you're good, you're good. You're good. Really beefed up security around this place. He's not with us. Cindy Lauper fan. Well, he certainly was having fun. So what are the plans today? We're gonna expose him for the criminal he really is. We're gonna show him who he's dealing with. It was a partnership that was gonna go far. What was gonna happen between you two? That's irrelevant, pretty boy. Why is that my nickname? Because you're a dead ringer for how to follow me. How? I look nothing like him, plus I'm female. Shut up, Alec! Shut up, muscles! Shut up, you didn't go to my son's bar mitzvah! Exactly like Both of you, shut up! Anyway, we're gonna show him that if you f with me, I'll f your mother. Then, I'll maintain a healthy relationship with her, marry her at a beautiful destination wedding of our approval, have a long guest list that doesn't include my cousin Vinny, but grow to slowly resent each other because the stress of time and bills is just too much to bear. But then she dies of natural causes, and I keep her ashes upon the fireplace right below our portrait that shows our loving commitment to each other in life and death. 
That doesn't sound so bad. Did you find out who has the photo, sir? I know exactly who has the photo. What are you doing here? I'm monologuing. No, I reserve this monologuing spot from 5.30 to 6. We were orientation buddies. And we hit it off right from the start. He introduced himself as Dynamite Dan, and I was Greasy Josh. We had a matching lanyard, and we told secrets till dawn. We destroyed all the competition. We broke the ice until he broke my heart. My heart weighs heavy with the death of my father. But I've trained in the art of origami, and with the tutelage of my master, I will avenge his death. Will you get out of here? I will fight for the last drop of blood. Don't stop moving, baby! I found them, boss. You know what to do. I'm on it. Time to jerk him off. Once I post this to Facebook, the world will know. So you think it'll work? Who's this guy? Better warn about the tickler in the building. Fucking unreliable Bobcat Ned. What, what are you... Boss, it's too late. Damn it, just just fix it. Don't stop moving. What? Hi, Mom. Yeah, everything's good. Yeah, the roommates are better. Yes, I went to the learning commons. No, they were unhelpful. No, I still haven't done my laundry yet. I'm still a communications major. Okay. Okay. That's our show for tonight. Thank you to everyone that came out. Big hand for the band over here. Thanks to the crew. Everybody did a fantastic job, all right? Good luck to the podcast next week in Tampa Bay. Yes, with the Frozen Four, be kind to one another. I'll see you guys later, all right? Two, three.